Hello and welcome to Ben's Works. On this week's episode, we're going to check out a laser engraver. So I got contacted by a company called Gearbest, and they saw my YouTube channel and thought it would be a really good idea to send me out one of these laser engravers. They saw the type of content that I make on my channel and thought that I could really use this. So I said, why not? Send me one out and I'll take a look. Wow, this thing looks awesome. Look how compact it is. Got a little box with some goodies in it. Looks like we've got a USB cable and some materials to test on, a software disc, a mounting plate, and we got some instructions. So the model of this engraver is the NEJE DK-8. It's the 1500 milliwatt laser. At first I thought this was some sort of mounting board, but on closer inspection, it actually magnets to the front here, so it protects your eyes while the laser's running. A few of the main features of this machine is it has an engraving area of 38 by 38 mil. It supports a range of image formats like PNG, JPEG and bitmap. It can also engrave acrylic, aluminum and stainless steel and it also has a replaceable laser. So the next thing we'll do is we'll hook it up to the computer and we'll do a test piece. Installing the engraver is super easy. Just head over to the NEJE website, scroll down and install the driver, then install the software and you're good to go. Once you open the software program it's really easy to use. You can go to their photo gallery where they have a whole heap of stock images that you can use or you can import your own image, which is what I'm going to do now. So I've just got my JPEG image and I'm just going to drop it into here. And you can see it loads it straight away and it also turns it into black and white. Now down the bottom of the screen you can input how wide you want it, anywhere up to 38 mil. You guys know that I love making my pendants. Now I've got this idea to try and engrave my logo on the bottom of the pendant. Now it's really important that you adjust the focal length of the laser. You need to get that point as sharp as possible. And you do that just by adjusting the metal ring at the top here. Now once you're happy with the location, we can start the engrave. And there we have our finished logo. That turned out really great. You can see there that it's not quite square. That's my fault, I mustn't have lined it up perfect. But it turned out really good. I'm really happy with that. If you want to own this very pendant, you can check it out on eBay. Just search for Ben's Works. I know a lot of you guys make your own pens. Well, I don't have one on hand, but I do have a wooden pencil. Now I'm going to do a really small engrave so we can see what it looks like. Once we've got the position set, we send it to the engraver. Check that out. Look how small that is. That's tiny and it's so clear. This machine also engraves leather. Check out how good my phone case turned out. Well guys, there you have it, the NEJE Micro Laser Engraver. This thing performed perfect. I mean, look how small it engraved this pencil. That is unbelievable. The engraver is so lightweight and portable, you could take it with you to the local markets or a craft show. And when people buy your projects, you can engrave a special message on it for them. So you can pick this one up on Gearbest. It's about 130 Australian dollars. I'll leave a link down in the description of where you can find it. They've also got larger models in case you need a bigger surface area. But for doing little projects like my pendants or pencils or anything like that, this machine is perfect. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. A massive thank you to Gearbest for sending me out this engraver. Well, that's all for this week's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.